All right, Sean. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Sean. Yeah. So, oh, Sean, we still on for golf next week? Ah, marvellous. Right. Bye, Sean. My very good friends at the Jewish News have asked me to deliver a short message to you at this special time of Passover. The Passover Seder is a little bit like the Labour Party NCC inquiry. It goes on for ages, there are many questions, and a lot of what you're fed is hard to swallow. At the end, the door is left open and everyone goes away feeling a little uncomfortable. The story of Passover tells us about a man who caused a sea of red to divide, leading his people into the wilderness. No, not Jeremy Corbyn, but Moses. Moses may not have been a mad genocidal dictator, but he was a Zionist. Uh, you might think of him as the original shop steward, demanding workers' rights, and ultimately calling everybody out. But what of the management? Was Pharaoh really the despot he's often made out to be? I know it was common in those days to refer to everyone in, author in authority as a jumped up little Pharaoh, but isn't his reputation simply the result of spin by the Tory biblical press? After telling Moses, that the pharaoh's not for turning, he made a U-turn worthy of Philip Hammond after the last Tory budget, and all because of a few so-called plagues? I mean, take frogs. What's the problem? Anyone who knows me will tell you I love amphibians. They're very bright creatures. A lot of frogs wouldn't have voted to leave the EU, I can tell you. And what about the plague of darkness? Three days? Call that a plague? Britain spent much of the early 1970s in darkness, thanks to the National Union of Mine Workers industrial action, leading to the three day week. And we were glad of it. Boils, vermin, disease, slaying of the firstborn, just examples of bad administration. If that had happened in London when I was mayor, you bet I wouldn't have been elected to a second term. But it didn't. And I was. As for turning the River Nile red, that isn't a plague. I'd say it's a star. Right, comrades? So, history shows us that Moses was a socialist and Pharaoh was a big girl's blouse. Getting three million people out of bondage in ancient Egypt was easier than getting a single anti-Semite kicked out of the Labour Party today. There you have it. I'm sorry if you're upset by anything I've, I've said, but I didn't even mention Hitler once. Happy Passover.